Hi, I'm Dr. Max, and we're here in Herva Dr. Max Restoration Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is our primary location, and we soon be adding another location, also in Fort Lauderdale, where we're going to move our surgical services. So frequently raised topic that I encounter as hair transplant physician is how many grafts do I need? And this is so many times being asked by my uh, patients that I wanted to record the video and try to explain what is the actual number, what does it mean, and why it is important. So to answer specifically how many grafts does any particular person need, and there's many factors that I'm going to discuss now and explain each one of them and hopefully it will shed some more light. So uh, let's start with the area. So area is one of the most important factors. Area that we need to treat will determine how many grafts do we need. It basically uh, translates, if we look at the head, right? This is just a, a dummy head, but we can see that the area that we need to treat will determine how many square centimeters are there. We basically need to calculate an approximate number of square centimeters. But it's not get very easy from here. Why? Because each person will have a different density, one, and different size of hair follicles. As you probably know, there are people with very coarse hair on one end, and there are people with very fine hair on the other end. Do you think that people with very coarse hair, as for example, in that donor area, will provide the same coverage as the fine hair? And probably not. The, the best comparison Let's say if we need to plant the forest and we have, we have big oak trees or we have a bamboo and let's say we need to plant an acre of land, right? Planting big oak trees probably will require much smaller number and bamboo, because it's much finer, thinner, will require much larger numbers. The same principle apply to hair follicles. During our initial consultation, one of the most important factors uh, that will determine that is how thick is each hair follicle is. During consultation, I will perform a microanalysis of the hair where I will take pictures with 50 times power of the microscope and analyze uh, areas that we need to work on to implant hair as well as the donor areas in the back or you can see here this is what we call a donor area temporal occipital and the temporal areas on the left side and it will help me to calculate the numbers the second factor is what is the patient desires. We need to make sure that what we wish is possible to be accomplished. To simplify that, there are most common patterns of hair loss. When we refer to androgenetic or male pattern alopecia, same by the way applies to female pattern alopecia, is basically how big is the area. Obviously, Patient with Norwood 3, for example, will have a different requirement for someone with Norwood 7. And someone with Norwood 7 will cannot expect to have the same results as someone with Norwood 3, because it will require a large amount of grafts, which is not possible to transplant in just one procedure. And return to the topic, how many grafts do I need? Again, this is the combination of these multiple factors. One, 
how many square centimeters of the area we need to cover. Number two, how fine or coarse the hair, the donor hair we have to work with, right? And number three is what are the personal desires and expectations of the patient. It is important to uh, bring up the topic of those, what they call the mega sessions. I'm very much opposed to more than 4,000 graphs in one session. And I explain why. Anytime we do a large procedures like that, first of all, we run into the risk of depletion and damaging vascular supply to the donor area. And if something goes not right, we're pretty much exhausting any possibility of the correct procedure in the future. So when somebody gets, oh, I, I went to Turkey and I got 6,000 grafts. First of all, I'm very skeptical about the actual fact that 6,000 grafts took place. Number two, I'll be very much concerned about irreversible damage to the donor area without ability to correct it in the future. So here in Herber Dr. Max, I do follow the principle. If I do not see a clear uh, a path of getting 4,000 grafts, I will not attempt it because we always need to think about what am I gonna do in the future? What I'm gonna do in five years, in 10 years from now, we, we always need to preserve as much donor as possible. And now I can explain what I can do to optimize uh, the graft count that I have to work with, right? One of the uh, methods that I utilize called uh, direct graft implantation. Direct graft implantation will uh, bypass the link between making the site with the scalpel, like, uh, traditionally, you take the small scalpel and you punch a bunch of holes. So this is one. Uh, um, this is one of the many implanters that we can um, use to uh, implant uh, grafts directly into the scalp. Uh, what it gives us and what the benefits. First of all, is you can see how tiny is the needle. So it means that the only impact on the skin would be um, the actual penetration of the needle okay we don't have to cut with the knife additionally in order to optimize graft count we have a limited supply let's say we need to work with 3000 grafts right there is a difference whether you place these grafts perpendicular to the skin right and you can see if if it looks like that the coverage would be very limited because each hair follicle will grow straight up and provide very little uh, gradient for the color. So with graft, direct graft implantation, I can place each hair follicle with very low angle. And you can see how much difference it can make. Huge, because each hair grows forward and as close as possible in each hair follicle provides five times more coverage. Additionally, because of very minimal handling of grafts, there is less traumatic injury to the anatomical structures of the hair follicle. So the survival rate is much higher. There is no need to pre-make those incisions, right? And use forceps to try to force the graph into uh, the pre-made side, but it's very easy and quick. Using direct implanters, first of all, me as a surgeon, I place every single one with my own hands. The time of the implantation, it's about cut, cut in half in comparison to traditional pre-made site and forces implantation. So the survival rate of grass also much, much higher. We are approaching 100% of survival rate. So with all these benefits of direct implantation, proper planning for the procedure, the most important factor is to have realistic expectations. Why is it important? Because if we expect something that is not 
impossible to achieve, we can get disappointed. So I always explain to my patient what is possible to achieve and what is not possible to achieve in one procedure. Hair restoration is not one time and done story. This is the bottom line. If somebody tells you that you're just gonna get one procedure and I promise to you, you're not gonna need anything else in your life, please just stand up and leave because this is not the reality. It's very, very important to understand. Hair loss is the chronic condition. Chronic, that means that we will have this uh, condition as we age. So if, if I was diagnosed with hair loss due to androgenetic causes when I was 25, that means I will have this chronic hair loss when I'm gonna be 65. This problem will not go away. This problem cannot be cured, like just taking medication for a toothache and treating infection. This is not going to go away. Hair loss will continue lifetime. So we need to be prepared for possibility of having another hair transplant in the future. With all being said regarding hair loss, causes, graph count, it is important to realize that there is a very good possibility that more hair transplant will be needed in the future. And proper planning is essential to preserve as much as possible of the donor area so we can have more options as hair loss continue in the years to come. With any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at 954-945-2909. We have a lot of useful information in our website, bringbackhair.com. Hope to see you soon.